house. Darling, where you put? Oh, look. Look at Bo's new jumper. Look. Okay, you sat down now. You sat down. Look at Bo's new jumper. I got him one with little. Show everybody, darling. Got little reindeers on it. Isn't it? It's so, it's so cute because he has such tiny little legs that we have to get him jumpers that don't have any leg bits on them and just have open, open armpits. Because any time we've got him, even the smallest of arms, somehow he manages to get his arms caught in them, don't you? Because you're so small. You're so small, that's why. So I've got him these little jumpers. Where are they from? Um, Spark Paws. I just Googled and found found a website that did really cute little um little coats that kind of fit well for da Oh my gosh, you're being so cute right now. That, that fit really well for Daxons. <laughs> Um, so I've got him this one, which is meant to be his Christmassy jumper. And then I got him another one. It's so funny, the breastbone on Daxon's is so big. He's so amazing, isn't he? He's just so gorgeous, my boy. I've got him a, a green, it's kind of like a duck egg green cable knit. So that's going to be his other jumper. for sun. Maybe it's his Sunday jumper. Oh, he's just been sleeping. He slept the whole way back on the train. Like the whole way he slept whilst I watched Love is Blind. This season is terrible, though. I just been to Rebecca about it. The bit with them, um, I don't know if you've watched it, but um, I love watching it. It's like my rubbish TV show that just passes the time. That There's a bit in it where this guy called JP is saying to this girl that he wasn't sure at first about her. And he, he was awkward because because she had makeup on and looked fake. Take her face. Fake eyelashes. I'm being honest. On the train, I'm just sat there going, Ugh. You're disgusting to me. Who is this man? Like, oh, just saying, like, you had, like, caked on makeup and eyelashes, and so you felt fake. I was like, red flags, red flags, get away from this man. So anyway, so I was watching that, and Bobo was having a good sleep, so he's just very, very slippy. He's very slippy. Gorgeous. Oh, he just always oh, lapping it up. He's... If you've got if you've got a sausage dog, you'll know how much they love attention. Like, they will do anything to pretend... They're either more ill than they are, or that they're more tired than they are, and they need more attention all the time. Short break. Bo is now out of his jumper, because I felt like he's actually getting too hot, because I have all the heating on. I'm just about to put on the fire, because it's beginning to look now. We are getting the house. I say we. I'm actually on my own. Alex is, Alex is still in Manchester. He's seeing his friends this evening. He's having, like, boys' night. He's gone out doing that. So I've come back for a day, me and Bo, and I'm going to do the Christmas decorations. Because the other day when I was out, Alex put up all the trees for me, so we're kind of doing a 50-50 split. Alex has brought in every single box into the house for me, so I don't have to go into the cold garage. And he's put up all of the, all three trees. So all three trees are up and all looking pretty, and I am going to dress them, which is actually my favourite bit, so I'm excited. Um, I've already got a glass of port on the go somewhere. Where have I put that? Got a glass of port. I'm going to put the fire on, although it might get a bit hot. I'm going to put a Miracle on 34th Street on, which is my favourite Christmas film. Yeah, I'm just going to start unwrapping everything with baby Bo having a sleep behind me. So yeah, I'm really quite looking forward to this. I've just got off the phone though with my with my cousin who is getting married and it's all really, really exciting for the family. We have another wedding in the family. We've just been having a really, really good chat about the wedding and she's asked me to be a bridesmaid. So I am just in such a happy, great mood. I'm just thrilled to bits. So I'm yeah, I'm just in a really, really fabulous, happy mood right now. I'm just so excited for a family wedding. There's nothing better than a, a wedding that's within your very close friends or family because it's just super special. So yeah, we've just been chatting Hindus and bridesmaid dresses. I've offered to do my cousin's makeup for the wedding and um, yeah, there's so much to plan. It's all really exciting, but I'm just in such a happy, happy mood about it. For the rest of the day, I'm just going to get doing the festivities. Look, why is he so tiny? He's so tired. Look how beautiful he is, honestly. We could not have raised a more beautiful, clever, handsome boy. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'll stop now. <laughs> right, let's get going. So in honesty, this is going to be my usual Christmas tree. I'm not gonna change something that's already really, really great. I love the way that we have this tree usually. I usually call her the Red Queen. I use berries, I like frosted berries and ordinary berries and pine cones and ribbons and dress her up beautifully. Um, but I also have some new bits this year from Cox and Cox that I've picked up. 
which I'm also putting on the tree and just making it a bit more magical because we are hosting this year and so this year it's even more special than previous years and we can really put lots of effort into knowing the, the house is going to be used for Christmas and isn't just going to look nice for the run-up. I've picked up a number of extra pieces this year to kind of make it even more elaborate and a bit more exciting for kids as well because we've got the kids coming over so um let's get going <laughs> certain point the best point when I've got everything on the reason this tree always looks so full whenever I dress it is because I have so many accessories and it's primarily accessories I actually don't put that hi darling I actually don't put that many uh, ornaments on it I mean it's not finished yet by the way I do need to put some ornaments on it but primarily you are so on the tree is a mixture, <laughs> um, a mixture of, we have the acorns, are they called acorns? I did this last year. Um, pine cones, pine cones, pine cones, um, big crystallized diamante red flowers. Um, we have the kind of matte red berries on leaves. Then we have the poinsettias with diamond middles. And these are my favorite, the kind of frosted, kind of like glassy cherries and then oh and then we have the red ribbon i think that's everything yeah so i just fill up the whole tree so it's really thick and full and then i always love putting a few of these glacé frosted cherries up top to give her like her own crown in fact i have one left to put up there i just need to get around the other side of the tree so it just looks really thick and full and beautiful like this so yeah if you're trying to get this effect it is all about getting these accessories and yeah initially these do cost a lot to buy in abundance but then you'll have them forever i mean this is i think this is the fourth year now that i've dressed the tree like this same tree same accessories and i will likely continue dressing the tree in this same way because i think it just looks absolutely beautiful i don't have to keep buying things what is he doing <laughs> you just being is really, really sweet. Are you being really sweet? Have you, I think you just had a really good nap. Have you just had a really good nap? And now you're full of beans, aren't you? My little tiny boy. Should we go get some breakfast? Come on then, we'll go wee wee's first, so. Let's go wee wee's. before I go to bed. Um, I, I actually was working on this a little bit earlier. I'm just doing a workout, but I thought I'd quickly show you before I go to bed. The tree is up and she looks really, really beautiful. If I just turn these down, you can see her a lot better. She's so pretty, so pretty. One of these has just fallen over though, I can tell on the red top. But yeah, she's just so full, full of life, as is this one. So thrilled with this. So that's one down. I'm looking very disheveled now from a workout. Alex just texted me and said, ooh, save one tree for me and we can put it up together tomorrow, which is really sweet. I might do the orangery tree and then I will save the hallway tree and then he can help me with the hallway tree. It's very sweet that he offered to do it with me. So yeah, at least I've got this room partially sorted. I just need to get a few more little bits up, a few of the little trinkets to make it feel a little bit more Christmassy and then that's it. So right, off to bed. Good morning, everyone. Look at Bo. He's feeling a little bit sore for himself. I think he's got a bit of a funny belly this morning, bless him. What a wonderful tree it is, though, honestly. Sunday morning, the tree is lit. I have a wonderful hot coffee that I just made in the machine. I've got my gorgeous little dog with me. I have the TV on which actually makes the perfect time to tell you about this week's sponsor for the vlog, Sky Cinema. As always, this is a genuine moment that I've put the TV on, scrolled down, and Sky Cinema have this huge chunk on the TV underneath everything else. This really gorgeous Christmas section that says movies make Christmas with all of these different Christmas movies. And it's exactly what I was looking for. I was actually looking to watch Elf. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Like I said yesterday, Alex isn't here. So it's me and Bo, a cup of coffee and the Christmas tree. And it's not something I ever usually do, spend a Sunday morning chilling like this. And it's exactly 
what I need today. So, um, excuse me sat here in Alex's robe. This is the most, by the way, the most bougie robe. I bought Alex this Versace robe a couple of years back. Almost as a bit of a funny sort of present. I realised it's an expensive funny present. But I had some credits to spend on it actually on the site. I got it a little bit more discounted and I was like, do you know what? He would love walking around all bougie in this Versace robe. Actually, I wear it more than him. So it was a present for me apparently. On a cold Sunday morning, this couldn't be any more wonderful. Oh my gosh, how brilliant. This is exactly what I was looking for yesterday. This is what I needed yesterday when I was looking for Christmas films. So this is obviously Sky Cinema's pop-up of the month. They have all the Christmas films. Oh, I just got, I just got um, that real festive feeling, that real excited feeling. It just hit me. I feel like I get it every year. That moment of, it's Christmas. Okay, I mean, look at, look at this. Oh, the Christmas love actually, the holiday. That's gonna happen soon. White Christmas, absolutely. So, do you know what? I've never watched that. Sleepless in Seattle. I did not know that. Violent Night, watch that last year. That's quite funny, actually. Christmas Crackers, Elf, Love Actually, Bridget Jones can't be watching Elf at this time of year, so. Um, I tell you what though, if you're not wanting to watch a Christmas film right now, I watched a corker of a film the other day on Sky Cinema. Do you know, maybe this is becoming the new me. I like to be like, I never sit down and watch the TV and watch movies. It's becoming more of a thing for me. And I, do you know what? I think it's more with this work-life balance that I'm trying to find. I feel like when it gets cold outside, this is what I start doing more. I start retreating more into the lounge because the lounge has two enormous radiators in it, like huge radiators. So this room is the warmest room in the house. So I think I retreat in here and I start watching films. Magic Mike, The Last Dance. Last Dance now hear me out. I was a big fan of the first two Magic Mikes. I'm sure this is the third one, The Last Dance. I was a big fan of the first two. I thought they were brilliant. I've, I've watched them numerous times. I'm not even going to lie to you. E ever since Channing Tatum was in um, Step Up, I've been a huge fan. He is one gorgeous specimen that can dance and who wouldn't like that? And also because I used to dance years ago. I do love dance films. I've told you this before. Mm. Sorry, darling, did I move ever so slightly? Oh, what a shame. Anyway, so Channing Tatum's always been a favorite of mine and Magic Mike is a brilliant film. <laughs> it's a brilliant film. Anyway, Magic Mike's Last Dance is on Sky now. You need to watch it just so you finish the whole Magic Mike saga. It's got some really sexy scenes in it i'm not gonna lie i would not i was gonna watch this on a plane a few weeks ago thank god i didn't because there are some um raunchy scenes but if you're having like a girls night in loads of girls or if it's just you and you fancy watching chan and tatum looking very very hot with his top off and pants off then you're gonna really like that film do you know what? It's not a bad storyline. It's not a bad storyline. It's just a little bit unbelievable at points. That's all. But don't let that put you off watching it because let's be honest, you're not watching Magic Mike for the storyline. Let's be honest. You're watching it because it's Magic Mike. I would definitely recommend watching it just so you've watched all three. And if you've not watched the first one, then come on. Also, can someone I know please have a hen do at the Magic Mike show because... I've always wanted to go and I've never been able to go. And everyone that has been says it's really good fun and like hilarious, but also amazing. In fact, I have two Hindus coming up. Maybe I could try and swing this my way. Susie, fancy some magic mic? Calm yourself. Come on girl, I need this. Two other options to watch right now on Sky. She came to me. Oh wow, Peter Dinklage and Anne Hathaway. A composer with writer's block sets out in search of inspiration and discovers much more than the bargain for. Oh, it's a rom-com. Maybe I might watch that then. I love Peter Dinklage. This is what it's looking like. She came to me. That's a brand new Sky Cinema film. And finally, third film, which Alex will likely watch, Big George Foreman, the once and future heavyweight champion of the world. Obviously, it's based on the true story of George Foreman and his life as a heavyweight boxer. Do you know what? I actually think I was going to watch Elf, but I actually want to watch that. She came to me now because I really like Anne Hathaway and Peter Dinklage. She came to me. So I'm going to put that on whilst Alex isn't here and watch that with baby bubbles. Right, the husband is home. I have done, gosh, I, sorry guys, I'm looking so dishevelled. I am so in need of a hair wash. I can't even explain to you. Honestly, the ways that I come, come to you on these YouTube videos sometimes 
makeup less and hair looking horrendous. I hope you like the realism here. Right, I'm gonna put you here a second. Um, the, re the reason I want to film looking like this is because I have a few things that I want to show you because I'm, I'm just about to unbox them before I have a hair wash. So, this year we have a few new things for Christmas, like I said, because we are hosting. So, we've got a little bit more all out this time. This is a centerpiece item. Wow, oh wow, this is cool. Yeah, so that'll be the base. Wow! This is cool. Yeah, I thought we could have this out. It's a big brass bowl. And then obviously we'll sit on this. I suspect, probably. <coughs> well, I thought so. Do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to Google which way around this base goes. I think it must be this way. I can't remember now from the picture, but it's a big, huge brass bowl. I thought it'd be amazing for at Christmas, fill it with ice and then just fill it with wine, beers, vodka, whatever. Cause I'm also hosting my staff Christmas do here, the in the fro Christmas do is here. And so again, this would be perfect for putting loads of beers in. So that is awesome. I got it from Cox and Cox. That makes sense. It's got nuts and bolts to attach it. That makes utter sense. Okay, great. I bought quite a few things from Cox and Cox, like I could say. Um, I just went on this year and had a look and had loads of new Christmassy bits. So for example, this candelabra. Just need to find some nice tall candles for this. Somewhere. I'll find some. Picked up a couple of picks. These are called the tree picks. Again, cause I'm just really into these sorts of things. And I thought these, this would be perfect for my two gold trees to put them on some of the branches. And if not, I mean, you can do anything with them. You could put them along the table. Uh, it's a cute little accessory, but I think I'm gonna put them along the, the tree stems. So I got four of these. Again, they're Cox and Cox. I'll leave some links down below. I just did a big shop. Um, wrapping paper this year. I have this brown craft paper that has little white speckles on it. How gorgeous are these? Super classic faux shielding top and just red and white candy cane stockings for me and Alex. Thought they were absolutely gorgeous when I saw them and I was needing new stockings. The one thing I haven't unwrapped yet that I'm looking forward to unwrapping are these metal frame lights. And the idea with these is to hang them from the ceiling in the orangery over the dining table to create a little bit more of a, an effect along the dining table in there. Let's see, you'll probably see me trying with these soon, but so they're like this. And I'm guessing when you unwrap them all, everything pulls out and you get like a full globe out of them and then they all will light up. So I just thought it was so cool. The only issue is going to be how do I plug them in, but We'll find a way. We will find a way. So I got a couple of those. Um, right, I bought some cherry cluster lights to put outside the house. So, because these are outdoor ones, silver wire cluster lights, so I could put it around the front of the house. It's actually look really gorgeous. Glass candy cane uh, baubles. Oh, they're even more beautiful than I expected they'd be. They're absolutely beautiful. Two like that, and then there's two that are longer, like this. How beautiful are they? Wow, they might be my new favorite. <sighs> I am an idiot, I just broke one. I literally went to put it down and it hit another one and broke. So now I have three. That is so annoying. I can't believe it. <sighs> right, never mind, almost and upwards. They're so pretty, absolutely love those. Okay, so they were a great find. I'm gonna keep this box to keep them in, actually, because it's always good to keep them safe. In the spirit of hosting, I needed a few more um, Christmassy vibe plates for putting bits and bobs out for the starters and things. So it's a set of three plates and they have this porcelain beading around the edges of them and they all sit together. They are really perfect and totally fits my vision. Although it does say here, not for food use, for decorative purposes only. I'll just make sure that I only use them for cold food then, so it's not gonna get hot. I can put cold things on these, we'll live. Huge red baubles. How cool will these look under the tree? Oh my gosh, I love that. May have to blue tack them to the floor. Look how fun they are. See, I kind of feel like I need some more down there. 
They are super fun because then I can kind of put presents around them and it'll just look gorgeous. Okay, love those. And then look how stunning these are. I'm over me with those, apart from the fact I just broke one. Oh God, ridiculous. They're so beautiful and they're perfect with this tree. So, okay, perfect. My little Bobo, love him. What else did I order? 10 gold bows. They've got little straps so you can strap them around the edge of the tree. So I'll put them up, those on either the hallway or the orangey tree. I just really like bows on trees, especially. Light up, little light up candles. Again, thought they'd look great on the tree. Another set of outdoor lights that we have two sets. Velvet burgundy ribbon to go around my wrap it, uh, wrapping. For wrapping up my presents, I got this set six distressed metal charms. So there's like six little metal stars and you can just obviously thread your ribbon through it yourself and then you've got cute little metal stars then. Ooh, I'm gonna have such cute wrapping. These are so great. Oh my goodness, these are amazing. Huge metal snowflakes for the tree. Equally, these could look great hung up here on this. So there's six, I've got six of those. Again, for either tree, I have two gold trees, so. And the final thing, which I think has fallen out, um, 12 little recycled craft, so like little gingerbread icons for putting through, putting on wrapping paper, putting on the presents when I wrap them. They're so sweet, they all look like little gingerbread houses. So this was literally just because we're hosting and I want it to be a little bit extra special. So I've got some great things there actually. The thing is we're doing a Christmas haul, one last thing I have is from, I bought some other wrapping paper too. Oh look, that's so nice. Looks like Black Watch Tartan from Caddo. Caddo Paperworks. Yeah, just really gorgeous recycled paper for wrapping. So I got Black Watch and I got sage and cream stripe. And then there's also a burgundy and white stripe in there, just like candy cane style. And I've also got from Caddo, where have I put those? I actually still have these from last year, from Caddo. This is, I bought loads last year from them too. These gorgeous big, Ribbon made of plastic collected from the sea. So cool. So I got a thinner emerald green and fatter emerald green. So I'm gonna put that with this, which would be gorgeous. And of course I've got my Cox and Cox one as well. So yeah, green and red candy cane style theme this year. Plus all of my little um, like star toppers and gingerbread toppers. I think that would be really nice actually for my wrapping. So that's it. Right, really exciting. Just a few new bits and bobs. Cool! I'm the champion! <laughs> you a goblet, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Landing down in Paul Tree decoration. I've looked this time. So it's got these little picks inside it, the little gold berries, which I've pulled down the tree. So those are the Cox and Cox ones. And everything else, I think pretty much everything else is Balsam Hill. All the other baubles. And then we've got the beautiful bows from Cox and Cox. I wish I'd bought more of these now because these look really, really good. Right, little, Scrooge bow. little bow. He's been a little Scrooge. It's because he wants to play and he's like, guys, you're not playing with me. We're trying to make your house look beautiful, Bobos, okay? Yeah, and then we've got all the picks. I've got a couple of older decorations that we've had for years, like these beautiful Swarovski ones and little Bobo Teddy in there. I think this looks beautiful with the ribbon as well. That was Balsam Hill. Yeah, I think this looks absolutely perfect now. And then that round the edge as well, that's, I want to say Balsam Hill. Could we get some cocks? But I think it's Balsam Hill. I wish I had more of these though. I could do another five of these. Not got enough, and I think they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Okay, so happy with this. Then Alex has done the wreath over here. 
Have you found your little sausage, Mr. Sausage? Come here, come here. <laughs> that goes along the banister up there. So when you walk in, you see it up there on the banister. And then Alex has wound this up the banister here, which looks gorgeous. So that's gonna go across there. And I've got my little Dior and Chanel. Come on you, give me that, stop taking it. How am I supposed to play if you take it away? Whee! And then we've sorted out this. We've put up the beautiful stockings, they look so cute. And you kind of need a place for this, although I kind of like it there. Maybe I might put it here. Just one second, Bo, just one second with that, or else you're gonna be triggering everyone's dogs. Uh, a couple of the picks in here, I might put that here, actually, because that isn't Christmassy at all, so that needs changing. Again, this is Balsam Hill, it does light up, actually. This is Cox and Cox, this is Cox and Cox, this is these two little houses. And then, the, yeah, the, bau the baubles are brilliant, I love those. But, the, I mean, this tree is just superb. Oh. Isn't she so pretty, darling? Glory to the newborn king. Good morning, everybody. We are starting off with a gorgeous pre-festive trip to Paris. And my wonderful husband is very kindly dropping me off at the station. I am heading into Paris with Guillain. And we are heading to the impeccable Guillain Spa. You might remember they booked me into the spa over Paris Fashion Week because I needed like a good refresh. So it's one of my favourite spas in Paris. I love it there. The treatments are really out of this world. And so, yeah, I'm heading over there on my own. A bit of a solo trip. But I may have some surprises a little bit later. Okay guys, it is a quick change between the car earlier and now I'm here in Paris. It, in a very rainy Paris, but this is the most cosy living room space in the Galan Institute. You might recognise it from when I was here for Paris Fashion Week and I came along for that incredible massage. So I'm having a personal fragrance consultation with the creative fragrance director Delphine. Um, so this is really, really special and if you could just see all these bottles in front of me, this is very, very exciting. <laughs> wow. The last uh, perfume house is to uh, use this tincture that is uh, homemade. It just smells yeah. like bacon cakes. So, <laughs> <laughs> right guys, Galan have checked me in for the night at Le Maurice. And then the surprise is... <laughs> Gosh, look at this bed. Sorry, I've left these grapes here because I really want these grapes. So we're staying at Le Maurice in a junior suite. The three of us obviously wanted to book in together. It's kind of carnage now with everyone's bags and my bags. This was this is where I met the girls and they accosted me with such excitement and just amazing. <laughs> Third little bed. Shall I go in this little tiny bed? It's like for Goldilocks, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you're definitely too tall to yeah. in that bed. <laughs> Paper. It's, yeah. that, it's spectacular, isn't it? Wow. And then in here, we have our own shroom, as Amelia would call it. Look at this. It's absolutely insane. Uh, so I've just come from the Girl Am Spa, and so my skin is absolutely supreme. Look at the glow on that. Wow. I have my grapes, and I'm in my robe. And look at this. The girls are already like, laid out all of their beautiful bags. I'm a little bit lost for words, like I had no idea the suite would be this big when we booked it. It's insane. I mean, look at the girls getting ready. Look at this bathroom. I can't believe this. Oh, and then in here, it's the living room. And then, I mean, the bed is ridiculous. We could easily get all three of us in this bed. And then the team, because obviously Gillan booked us in for the evening, the team have left us a champagne with three, three little glasses. Just so sweet. Three cakes. And then we're, there were three robes. I'm just so happy. I'm so happy right now. I don't care what they say. We are almost ready to go out. We're going out to Lavenue for dinner tonight. Um, we've all just been getting ready. I have a full face of Guillain makeup, which will be on TikTok. Alex, put a little box here, babe, with a TikTok in it so everyone can see. My skin looks incredible. Not only from the spa, because it's not only 
cleaned out and exfoliated my skin and made it super bright and healthy. But then I've used this unbelievable Guillaume tint and it just looks absolutely flawless. Like so flawless. So happy with this. I am wearing my favorite YSL dress. YSL heels. I've got a little YSL bag. <laughs> Obsessed much. We're ready to go out for dinner. Okay, look how romantic this little meal is with my best girls. This is so amazing. I must admit, I'm so jealous of Susie's pasta. And I gave you that recommendation. Oh. oh but this, look, this looks really delicious, babe. Really delicious. And I love that the chips are literally on a champagne stand here. <laughs> So I filmed a few bits on my phone in the restaurant because this camera didn't fit in my beautiful YSL handbag. So I filmed a few bits on my phone. We've all decided that we need to do this far more because it was just so amazing. Awesome. Like being with your best friends in like the most romantic city in the world, having a delicious dinner whilst catching up on everything that's been going on. Like there's nothing more fulfilling in life than that feeling. We've had such an amazing night. Like getting dressed up with your girlfriends is always an amazing like moment for anyone. And then delicious food, really amazing catch-ups. And then we just got back to Le Maurice and we're just gonna take off our makeup but makeup together and carry on like chatting and catching up. And then we'll probably just get in bed, all of us together in our pajamas and just carry on. I'm just so happy. Just so happy to be here and I'm just so feeling so grateful and so lucky to have such amazing friends. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys. Welcome to Le Maurice, where we had the most comfortable sleep. Me and Sue slept in here, and Mila slept in the most adorable bed, just in the corridor. Had a wonderful, comfortable night's sleep. Honestly, the pillows here are like actual clouds of deliciousness. We're gonna head down to breakfast because they have the most beautiful breakfast room here. And have a lovely breakfast before I have to go off home. I need to get to Manchester today because I have a lovely like friend, family dinner to get to and I didn't want to get there too late so I'm leaving at like 10. Whereas the girls are staying to shop so I'm missing the shopping which I'm really really sad about but I've made too many plans. It's my own fault. I just have a lovely glowy face of girl and makeup on and that the spa treatment has done me wonders. I woke up this morning and everything just looks so flawless and bright and just super plumped. It really was amazing. So I'm loving that today. Black tea, black trousers again. I didn't really bring anything else apart from a new t-shirt. So that's the, uh, the style for the day. Okay, I couldn't not show you this. We've just all been given our own um, croissants. Three each, three each. I'm gonna take for this, for this, for this group of ladies. Delicious, um, I've got a hot chocolate and an espresso. So I'm gonna put that in there in a minute. And then acai bowl. But look, just look at, look at this beautiful, beautiful presentation. This is just absolutely amazing. Let's just get, yeah, I was gonna say, Suze, let's just get the rest of this on here. Also, it doesn't look as aesthetic like this, so does it? When leaving us here, make sure you have your luggage and belongings with you. Thank you, make me on the train. You came and met Mama. Hi. Hey guys, right, right. Oh, that wasn't good enough. Welcome to the flat. I have just gone all the way from Paris this morning. I left the girls and I had to come back because I have arranged to see my oldest friend Nat tonight in Manchester because they live, well, her parents live near Wigan. She's my oldest friend. I've mentioned her before many times. Like I've known her since I was three. She's my oldest friend. So we've known each other 31 flipping years. You're old and you're getting older. Oh, be careful, I hear my 
my eye, hair in my eye. We've got to the flat, we've bought a few drinks in. We're gonna have a few lovely drinks. Um, so Nat's coming over with her husband and also her parents because her parents are almost like second parents <laughs> to me. Like I'm, I'm really, really close to her parents because I've known them since I was, um, since I was super duper young. So anyway, they're all coming over today to see the new flat, and which is wonderful because it's really nice for me and Alex to be able to show people, you know, what we've been working towards. I'm also shooting something here tomorrow morning. Alex is shooting something here tomorrow. And so we're making, making the use. So yeah, it's just really, really nice to be here. Flat looks amazing. You know, we've got all the lights on. We've got the Sonos playing all around the place. So it's just like Fleetwood Mac everywhere. And it's just such like lovely vibes. Like I've said a number of times to Alex, like, oh my God, I can't believe this is ours. Cause it feels so surreal. And I just genuinely feel so lucky that we own this place. Like it's flipping amazing. So yeah, it's uh, really exciting. So I'm here tonight for this lovely meal, We're going out for a nice meal at a new restaurant that Nat found. I've never heard of before. It's called Higher Ground in Manchester. Never heard of it. I know the street well. I've just never heard of this place before. So we're gonna go try it out for the first time. See what it's like. But our reservation is at 9.15 gonna be such a late night of food but I think it'll just be a really great time to catch up and see how everyone's been doing. So I really really can't wait now, I'm really excited about it. I just need to get my dress on, I'm pretty much, pretty much ready. My brows are just looking a little bit crazy. A little more mascara on, some of the nude sticks. Mascara, I really really like this a lot actually. The brush is just really good. It just really, really combs through. I mean, my lashes are looking a bit weird, actually, because I think the mascara I used earlier has clumped them up a bit, so now they're looking a little bit funny. They look like they need a moment. Oh, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Cool. Illuminate setting spray. My favourite. It has become my favourite now. It's just super dewy. Put that all away. Put it all nice and Tidy, tidy, tidy. I'm quite a house proud person. I like places to look really nice when people come over. So <laughs> I've just been tidying up everything. A Holland Cooper dress to wear. Just take off my slippers. <laughs> in fact, I might put my slippers back on in a minute though. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit chilly. I'm trying to warm the whole place up. Like this is quite a big flat, and very tall ceilings. And so it does get a little chilly in here, I must admit. Okay, Holland Cooper dress on. This should be lovely and warm for the evening. I've got, I've just got the YSLs that were in my bag from Paris. So I'll put them on in a little minute. I'll take off my socks for now. So they're, not, they're not giving me sock lines. That happens to me a lot. Like I know I've just obviously been away with Guerlain, but I cannot talk more highly <laughs> of these. Just a little bit more info on these. These have just launched six different scents. Each one is a different ingredient that are very much the key core ingredients of Guerlain fragrances. So if you smell one of these ingredients, it's likely that you'll go, is that Guerlain? Including vanilla, tonka, iris, bergamot, jasmine, and rose. And so they've got one of each. And it's almost like if you, got that raw ingredient and made it into an incredible perfume that was super wearable every day. That's what Girl Anna's made. And being able to sit with Delphine, who is the creative director of fragrance for Girl Anne, it was a real moment for me and a real honor. And I mean, I told her that as well. I was like, this is a real honor for me. Like I find scents and fragrances quite fascinating and I love finding out about how things come together. And she is literally the lady in charge of creating the Galan fragrances. I mean, what an absolute honor to be able to meet this incredible lady. She was absolutely beautiful. So chic, super inspiring, like really wonderful lady. So it was just a really incredible experience to have like almost a, I pretty much had a one-to-one -one with her about the new fragrances. It was a real honor and a real treat. Anyway, and then at the end of it, they let me choose one fragrance of the six that I thought would be my favorite. So I went for vanilla because I think you guys know, I've barked on about how much I love vanilla in the past. 
Guys, when I say this is strong, this is strong. This is like, I'm sure she said this is like 40% vanilla. You know, this is an ex extract. It's meant to be pungent. So you wanna do like one, two. You don't wanna put too much on or else you're going to absolutely smell a room out. One thing she said as well that I thought was super interesting was that she likes to combine them, not layer them. So super interesting, I've never heard anyone say this before. She said, if you have like a combination that you like, you can almost build your own perfume because these are almost like ingredients. So if you had say the vanilla and the tonka, you could put a vanilla here, a tonka here, a vanilla here and a tonka here, and you could create your own blend. Or if you like rose and jasmine, put rose, jasmine, etc. And she said, then you create your own perfume and your own combination. I've never thought about it that way. I've always layered my perfumes, but actually that makes complete sense that you sort of make each pulse point a different scent and then they kind of all merge together. I thought that was really, really interesting. And yeah, a new thought on it. So I really appreciated that. So in honesty, I really want to buy the Tonka now because I was between the vanilla, the vanilla and the Tonka as to which was my absolute favorite. I went for vanilla because I feel it's a little more subtle, more subtle for day wear. It's not so in your face. The Tonka had these incredible like cherry notes to it, smoky cherry notes. And so to me, that was more of an evening scent. And I felt like I do more in the day. So I was like, I'll get the vanilla and in the future, maybe I'll buy the Tonka and then I can layer, I can combine them together. Anyway, so ready for the evening. Um, I'm not gonna bother doing anything with my hair, my hair's fine. Makeup is pretty much complete. I've got my perfume on. I put on a few bits of jewelry. Um, I've got my bulgari jewelry that I wore yesterday when I was out with the girls. What an incredible time we had, like, incredible time. Those girls are, I just adore them with every everything of my being. We, I can't believe we managed to get all three of us together at the same time in the same city like that, it was really special. We had an incredible time. Limerice is the dream Parisian hotel, it really is. So we just had a ball. We loved every moment of it. I'm so, so thrilled. I'm so thankful. Put in some earrings. I'm gonna put in my gorgeous new, these are my new Edge of Ember earrings. Just so you know, we did have a Black Friday discount on these, which may still be on, just in case you're after any of the new collection. These are my new full gold marquee shaped solid hoops. Honestly, I don't stop wearing these. They're so stunning. They're just quite subtle, but they're beautiful for every day. And that's it. That is it. So, bits here, make this all nice and tidy for everyone coming over. And yeah, right, I'm gonna spend the night with, the, with my friends. So I will see you in the morning.